don't make the I don't know him. Okay, so we just have the best. He just picked the perfect song for it. It sort of works in your mind. Well, they were, this was based on a girl in my in high school at the Thespian, Thespian tryouts day. She did this song, and it was a lot of this. So that's. Okay, so no, it's in the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a perfect song. <laughs> she had like a burlap skirt and like, the flower. <laughs> was amazing. So this is this bit that um, we ripped off from her. This is essentially like a crazy, a crazily beautiful woman trying out for soap opera, and I'm the person auditioning her. And then I say cut. Okay, so you have to put it in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
my neck, the wind is in my face. The sea is incredibly blue. And I'd rather be sailing. Yes, I want to go sail. And then come home to you. I'd rather be sailing. Yes, I want to go sail. And then come home. Ah! I just want to present this one here. I know. Okay, but first of all, you have to say my favorite line from the Annie movie. Uh, uh, by the way, well, first of all, tell me no audition for Annie, the movie, the first time. Oh, I auditioned when I was a little girl for Annie, and um, I ended up getting like screen tested and getting down to like the final eight to ten girls, and um, they they said that I didn't get it because I was too prissy. <laughs> Because I couldn't get the accent. Because my mom would be like, okay, now let's work on the accent for, for New York people. And I'd be like, Sam, get up your dukes. <laughs> I could not get it. And they worked for that speech, and I couldn't do it. But then she got the, the actually the good version movie. Okay, <laughs> do that one. Where, where would you come over here sooner to spy me? <laughs> Is this stupid, but I'm obsessed with it? <laughs> she was a little boy. I mean, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like out of your home you're a human. <laughs> <laughs> she was so many Okay, and finally, what's that song? Um, right. Okay, there was this one little moment in the Tony Awards. Of course, I knew all of Christmas moments in your good man, Charlie Brown. And I'm like, you change one moment. So just describe why it was changed and then just recreate it. Oh, I think in it's the so Tony cute. Awards, uh, in my new philosophy, there's a part where Sally breaks into uh, sort of more legit sound in the song. And I used it, and her voice was changing. Like, she was. And she suddenly had an opera voice for yes. no reason. <laughs> it was this really subtle, weird joke. Which of course it was really I love. bizarre and strange, actually. So, but in the Tony Awards, they thought about it, like you wanted. Well, they, they thought it home, it wouldn't be go over as well. Maybe that was their nice way of saying that never really worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Okay, before you go, I'll just say, just tell that one amazing story about the benefit, which I love that, a certain director. No, I just, I just love Christmas. You tell it. <laughs> All right, I'll just tell it. I love people that are like, I love talented people that are A, nice people, but also like really confident about their own talent, which I just really admire that, aka both of you guys. So I just love that like when sort of know nothing, <laughs> sort of try to like give them direction just so they can feel better about themselves, they're like, no, or something. So anyway, so Christina was doing this benefit, and they've been really kind of annoying with her. It wasn't my benefit, it was another benefit. Very, yeah, very annoying. Okay, and they're like, are you going to be a blonde? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> the day of the event. Like she was going to go the home. The day of the event. Are you going to be a blonde? You know, it looks better with our background. <laughs> what you got her die today? <laughs> so, she's, so she called me. She's like, 